Hello and welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be learning how we could create our own EVD which is Android virtual device. So in order to create your own EVD or Android virtual device you just simply go on this icon which is nothing but the EVD manager which manages all of your Android virtual device. So we simply click on it and as you could see we have two virtual devices with us right now. Now the first device is nothing but the copy of Nexus which I have already created and the next device is the Nexus 5. Now in this tutorial we are going to create a new device and in order to create a new device what we are going to do is that instead of just editing one of these devices we are going to create a copy of one of these device so so in order to create a new device you simply go on create virtual device and in this we are going to select some device so let's say we want let's use Nexus 5 because it suits our requirement so we select this option right over here now you could select any of the devices right over here but for the purpose of this tutorial so I'm going to go with Nexus 5 and instead of just clicking on next I'm going to click on this clone device button and that is because it is going to clone the device for us so that we don't mess up with the settings of the original device so for example the original device has a RAM of 1.5 GB but the thing is that we have allocated the maximum RAM size to be 1024 MB so the thing is that we want to modify this so in order to do that we simply go ahead here and we just make it a thousand MB so that is going to allocate a thousand MB or 1 GB of RAM for us now 1 GB is exactly 1024 so we are going to go with slightly less or approximately equal number and that is because we have only allocated a space or size of just 1 GB to our AVD now once this is set we go ahead and click on OK and click next and we also want to select the Android version so now we are going to select the latest version of Android which is marshmallow so we click next and now we want to name our device uh, let's say we gave, we create a new device and let's name it as my Android so this is our new device then we simply click finish now as you could see we have successfully created our own device which is called as my Android and it has 650 MB of memory now in order to launch this AVD and emulator we click this button so it is going to start the emulator for us and we could see our device up and running So if you create a new AVD, it is going to take up some time and that is because it has to just duplicate the running of the Nexus 5 device from scratch. So as you could see our emulator has started and our phone is booting up. So as you could see this is the name of our device which is my Android. Now if you want this emulator to run a bit faster then the thing which you could do is that you could allocate more memory to this device so for example if you have a RAM of 8 GB then you could easily allocate a RAM of 2 GB to this emulator so that it could boot up faster as compared to just giving it a RAM of 650 MB or 1 GB now as you could see our device has started and our device itself is going to take a bit longer to boot up and as you could see we our device has booted up and as we have created this device from scratch it is going to basically emulate uh, like starting a new phone when you buy a new phone it is going to behave as if you have bought a new phone so we just unlock it and as you could see it is going to welcome us and this phone is pretty much like your basic android phone where you wherein you could have a set of applications now the interesting thing about this phone is that you could even use the browser to serve the internet so for example if you open up the browser and if you want to go to google it is going to load up google for you and you could pretty much use this browser uh, as you use it in the phone so if you want to search something you could just go ahead and search anything so for example if you want to search Android studio it is going to show you the results with Android studio and you could use it like a basic phone so basically this is how you create your own Android virtual device by using the Android AVD manager and the main purpose of learning this is because when you uh, develop your own application so you want your application to be tested on each and every device so as to make sure that your application runs smoothly on every device so that's why you create a basic virtual device so that you could test your app onto it so that's it for this tutorial and i hope you guys understood how you could use the android avd in order to create your own android virtual device such as this phone which we have created which is my android and you could pretty much also allocate some memory or the ram to it so as to make it run more faster so make sure that you choose a proper ram depending upon your configuration so for example if you have a 4 gig 
gb of ram we'll allocate 1 gb to the emulator now if you have a higher ram like 8 gb or 16 gb then you could go with 2 3 or 4 gigs of ram so thank you very much for watching this tutorial and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial thank you